Hi, everyone, and welcome to episode 90 of Like, Share, Follow. And on this episode, I have Alicia Winter, who is a graphic designer at Ali Graphic Design. So welcome, Alicia. Hi. Thank you, Karen, for letting me on. Sorry. No sorry. problem. <laughs> yeah, good. So now, look, you're about to finish, but I, I wanted to have you on the show before you sort of left. And uh, because you are also working in the field while you're studying, so... Um, you, we, we finish up this week, but I just thought you would be a great person to chat to because you're at now at the end of your degree, but you've also been working in the field of social media and graphic design while you've been studying. So I just think that is really interesting. So how did that happen? How did you start actually working while you were studying? So in my first and second year of uni, I really focused on learning as much as I could. Um, in my second year, my lecturers and tutors told me that you need to start making connections, putting yourself out there. And I, I in my second year, I, I just didn't felt like I was ready. Some people are, but in my second year, I still felt like I had a lot to learn. I wasn't ready to go out into the real world. I, I felt like my skills weren't there yet. I didn't, you know. And when I got to my third year, so this year, this whole entire year, everything has changed for me immensely career-wise. So in my first semester, last semester, that's when I took the course, social media, content creation and creation. And I fell in love with that course. I absolutely loved it. It just, I always had a passion for social media, but I didn't realize until I did that course, how I could join graphic design and social media together with the content creation and also, you know, learning more about the analytics side um, and just I did an assignment um, in social media content creation, which you do in that for a client and the client was the big boy in Sunshine Coast. And they were so happy with my assignment that they actually asked me to do their social media for them, which is really exciting. And kind of the ball started rolling from there. I, um, you know, I started doing that with the big boying. I got my internship at Social Tap Noosa. So I just felt like in the last six months, especially, I just have been learning so much. I've made so many connections and I feel like I'm ready to go out into the industry where if you asked me that like a year and a half ago, I probably wouldn't say this, give you the same answer. Yeah. Excellent. And so the big boying, that's, is it, it's trampolining right yeah 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 so it's a yeah it's for all everyone you can bring and that's like the great thing about their company is that it's for toddlers for babies or up to 50 year olds like it's just for everyone so yeah <laughs> excellent that would be fun content to create it is it's hard to get photos of children because um, some of them are super out there and like super happy, like, yeah, get a photo of me. And then other kids are like, oh, stranger danger, which I completely understand. So um, <laughs> they look at me like, which is so good because it means their parents are obviously teaching them because they'll be like, oh, I got to go ask my mom first. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, um, but I usually always do ask the parents before I take photos of, of the kids. Of course. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Even if, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, and so what do you think um, set you apart from, say, other students who would have been going for these sorts of roles and getting this, getting actually paid to um, to work in the field? What do you think, what skills do you think you have that um, really set you apart? Um, I always felt like my, this isn't really a skill, but I'd say fake it till you make it, my confidence. Um, I always have just been really bubbly and outgoing and have always very down to earth to anyone that I talk to. And I, that has definitely been my strength in, in talking within the community and meeting people on the Sunshine Coast. And I think if you're open to getting to know people, you know, your opportunities are endless. Like, you know, if you're very inviting, like wanting to get to know businesses and people like they more often than not will always like opportunities will just magically present themselves and it's you know manifestation like all that stuff so I don't know. 
so that's good. And I mean, you were even saying before how you needed a space to do an assignment at some sort of nice studio space, and then you just rang and asked to yeah, do so much. Yeah, room. I did. So, yeah, I think if you need help with something, always ask for it. Um, more often than not, people will always help you. That's my number one thing. Um, I think that uni, I always, you know, was at the, at the start a bit scared. I was like, oh, I don't know if I should ask or not. But everyone wants to help you. Like everyone wants to see everyone succeed and do the best that they can. Like no one's going to turn around to you and say, no, I'm not going to help you do that. And if they, if that person does do that, then don't even worry about them. But yeah, like, yeah, more often than not, people will always like help you into getting you to where you want to go. Yeah. And so what, what do you think is some of the best career advice that you've been given so far? Um, probably, oh, I'd say search. So basically like search for value in criticism and feedback. So throughout uni, you know, especially in graphic design or social media or whatever industry that you're studying, like there's always room to improve and, you know, there's always, you know, needing to learn more. And I just think that you can like develop, like if you ask for help, like nothing's always perfect. And I think throughout you, you sometimes you're like, oh, I, you know, you're really happy with the finished product and you go, it's finished, but it's probably not because once you get like the feedback from your teachers and stuff and they go, oh, well, I think it could be like, you got to kind of take it on board. And that goes, that helps also in the real industry. When, when I was doing my work experience at Social Tap, I just found my designs and my content creation just got better and better because I'd create something and then I would show him or my art director at the time. And he would, you know, we'd have like constructive feedback and you know every time I would go away and fix it again it just was always like better so yeah, yeah that's good it really is good advice it's not so so uh, not sort of looking at things as like a personal attack it's more like yeah it's just helping to try and even just enhance what you do and and keep yeah. learning because everyone gets feedback and um yeah. yeah so it's more like yeah that, that's really good advice um and now that you're sort of at the end of your degree, what have been some skills and knowledge that you've gained throughout your degree that have really helped you now that you are working in the field? Um, I definitely say, so the skills that I've learned throughout uni that have helped me in where I am now is definitely my technical skills in Adobe. Like, I mean, I know usually I'd say some sort of like, um, inspirational advice, but really it's been the technical skills I've learned in Adobe and just like those platforms and um, just the theory behind everything as well that I didn't know before I started my degree. I know there's a lot of, I've noticed that there's a lot of people now saying like, you know, like graphic design, that they've done graphic design, but they don't have like a degree or something. And I think like there's a I've in the three years I've been at uni like I've learned so much when it comes to you know like the theory that goes behind designs and and yeah so yeah. I definitely say my technical skills yeah no that's great and uh, Adobe is amazing so I mean I, I'm an Adobe education leader as well so yeah um, yeah so it's um they, I love their I, I probably would use Adobe every day. Um, in yeah. one, one tool or another so yeah I completely agree but on the flip side what has been something that now that you are working with real clients like in a freelance page sort of capacity something that you wish you knew before um, you did that so something that you wish you learned at university throughout your degree that would actually help you now that you're you have your own business um, I'd say definitely the business side of things. I wish the university helped students with more of like a career direction because when I, throughout my degree, I always had a very clear direction of where I wanted to go with my career, whether, the, um, and I just felt like there was a lot of students that didn't know what they wanted to do. 
um, even up until this final semester, you know, the teacher go, oh, so like, do you want to do freelancing or do you want to do this? And still no one kind of knew. And I think that I wish the uni would kind of help students figure out, especially in the creative industries, where they want to go in like the direction, because there is so many different pathways. And I think sometimes for myself, for example, like I was so, I loved social media and I wish that the uni, because when I was doing graphic design, like they never mentioned like creating content for social media. They never ever said, oh, you can use your graphics and create for this. Like you never heard of it. And I, I think if I had like a little bit more information about those sort of things, I probably would have done like a minor or different or I would have studied further and done something else. But yeah. Yeah, no, that's that's a, that's really good feedback. Um, so thank you. And now that you are working more in social media, uh, what's something that you know you know you found interesting because it changes every day. So what's something that you find you find have found interesting in the last couple of weeks relating to social media? Um, so I found that shop like shoppers will expect you to buy products directly on social media now. So as a consumer for myself, you know, when you're looking on TikTok or if you're looking on Instagram, the company will always tag the product in the post. And that is how people are, well, that's, I think, how people are shopping now. Um, you know, I think brands, you know, people are buying products more on the internet now than going physically in the store. And what's helping it is that through reels, like I just, it's crazy how like so many different companies are promoting their products through reels, like getting so creative, especially with clothes and stuff and doing the different transitions. And then, you know, the viewers are like, Oh, I want that. Or, and then the product is right there tagged in the video. So it's made it so much easier to like sell products and for consumers like buy the products. Yeah. And are you doing any of that with your clients yet? Um, not with the reels, like I'll always have a call to action. Like I always put a call to action. So, you know, buy the tickets here. I always have a link somewhere for people to buy something or, but I haven't with my reels yet. I haven't added the, cause like, it's kind of hard. I got to figure that out. Like do, cause you go onto the website and then it's got all these different sessions. So you, you kind of have to go onto the website first to like yeah. book the like specific session. Yeah. So it might be like a matter of sort of just driving that traffic like just to the website, They're letting people know that they, you know, they can yeah. do that in the real. But, yeah, there'd be so many fun things. My my imagination's going crazy with um, thinking about the big boying and what you could do with um, the content. Yeah, you would definitely have to let me know because at the moment I've just been, <laughs> yeah, yeah, let me know, tell me. <laughs> You've probably um, done it all before though. <laughs> I don't know. I was thinking I had an idea because in my market strategy that I did for them, I did like, you know, us teaching them how to do like the kids tricks and stuff. And I didn't even know that bounce existed. Like I should have, you know, bounce is the, um, you know, similar, but it, they're not based on the Sunshine Coast. They're based in Brisbane. And on their Instagram, they have all these different reels, like teaching kids how to do front flips and back flips. And I thought to myself, I was like, isn't that a safety? I feel like that would be a safety <laughs> hazard if, like, a kid watched that and said, oh, yeah, like, let's go try and do this front flip because and then hurt themselves. On their, like, ho their home trampoline. Like, yeah. <laughs> So I was like, that's probably not a good idea. And there's so many times, like I went into the big boing and yeah, they'll, you'll just see kids trying to do tricks and stuff. And it's very scary. Sometimes you're like, oh God, I don't know what happens. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's good. It's so now that you're sort of coming to the end of your degree, but you're, I mean, the thing is you've, some students are sort of, they're finishing and they haven't, they're not working yet in the field. So they're, they're sort of, you know, it's a, a sort of leaving university with a bit of a gap there. Um, and there's, you know, students who are still going have a year or two left. So now that you're at the end and you are working 
in the field, your chosen field, what advice would you give to uh, emerging professionals about how they can um, succeed like you have? Um, a lot of people, I feel like a lot of people say this a lot, but definitely making connections. Even you said this in, when we were in, you were featured in our podcast, making like making connections, I can't say enough. Like it's so important. And even if it's not just a, oh, going to events and like that's really important too, but just having when you go out in, in the day or like when you're in a shop, wherever you are, just like just talk to people, like get to know people. Um, I feel like because we're always on our phones all the time that we don't, you know, link like all that stuff is really important. But when you just get back down to basics and like just talking to people, you'd be really yeah. surprised. Like they'll go, oh, I know this person and this is a person I know. And then it just you, I've, yeah, and then it just really sets you up for your career because You'll never know you'll meet that person you'll have a really good connection with them and then a year down the track you might see them again and they they might be working in that industry like especially in the creatives industry photographers like social media people work with them like it's not just social media people like when you have your social media and then you're working with graphic designers if you're an agency you're working with multiple people so yeah, yeah. Like it's a very, it's like small community, I think. So you gotta, yeah. Also, yeah. So yeah, you've got to, yeah, you've got to let people know. And often, um, but even if you're looking for work, it's let people know that you're looking for work because yeah. um, often people know people, and and sometimes like so many jobs around it, not advertised, and so. Um, and people hear that they someone needs someone who has your skills and then they just put you in touch with them. So often it's not the people you're networking with who'll give you the job, but it often comes second hand or even third hand sometimes. So but if well, I, I don't was, know. Yeah, I was in a florist shop or just a shop in Prudian and I just went in there one day, just I was buying a gift. It was uh, my niece's birthday or something, and I just got talking with the shop owner. And she said, like, oh, what are you doing? And I was honest. I said, hey, I'm at uni in my last semester doing eight, like, blah, blah, blah. And she was like, oh, I actually need someone, like, you know, to do my social media, like, you know. And then she messaged me um, on my graphic design Instagram, started following me and messaged me about it. And, yeah, it was really exciting. I was just like, oh. You know, it's that. I mean, I'm not saying it's that easy, but I feel like if you it can do be. all these, like it, yeah, it absolutely can be. And the thing is, if people don't know, they can't give you opportunities because they don't know you're looking for an opportunity. So yeah, and usually, like presenting yourself in the public, like how you are, you know, then people get to see the real, not real you, but get they see you and yeah, you well, they get to they get to know you, you know. So yeah. it's really important. So. Yeah. yeah, no, that's that's really great advice. And the most important question of this show is who do you like, share and follow? So I actually had three because I knew okay. that the people watching might be like mostly social media. So uh, first one, which graphic design wise is the popular Jasmine Dowling. And she is amazing. Like she is so inspirational when it comes to graphic design content, business advice, and her content is just very beautiful. And if you ever feel like you need ideas, definitely look at her Instagram. Um, the second one, if you love photography, is Naria Val. She is the co-founder of a company called Rose, which is a skincare beauty company. But she's also, she started off as a photographer and she does film photography all over the world and just like, just beautiful photography. And then, then she started this Rose company, which is, like her photography is featured throughout the company, which is cool. And the last one is the social media CEO on Instagram. I don't know if you've heard of them, but um, she creates like really cool reels full of tips and tricks. So if you ever need ideas, definitely the social media CEO is always really good to look at when you need some like ideas about content. Excellent. So maybe you could even tag them in um in this post when when it goes up so yeah that would be that would be great so other people can follow them too 
cool. So that's brought, bring, brought us to the end now of, um, of this episode. But do you have any final thoughts or pieces of advice before we wrap up? No, probably. No, <laughs> no. I'd probably totally say, I, yeah, I'd say just be authentic, be yourself, um, you know, fake it till you make it. And, like, if it's something that you're truly passionate about, you will always, I mean, I think you will always succeed if you're passionate about it because you find joy in it. And, you know, and, again, ask for help if you need it. Um, just, yeah. Don't think, yeah, that's what I think. Yeah, no, I think that's great. So thank you so much, Alicia. And um, next week, we I think we have even one or two episodes, but I'm still locking people in. But um, thank you very much. And I will see you all in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Alicia.